Hi, I have with me uh, Shreyans who represents 100floors.com, right? Uh, Shreyans has been doing a great work on uh, both the lead generation and also the real estate. Uh, uh, we actually, uh, uh, coming back to it, I had this company called Sux Technology, uh, which we started in last year, April 2008. Uh, uh, beginning times we started the idea was to we started with a portal online portal and uh, we actually came up with two websites 100flows.com which is a real estate portal and 100 nest which is a, a, a which is which was initially started with the homes portal concept uh, moving on uh, we actually you know faced uh, issues in terms of selling direct inventory online basically so uh, and also you know a lot of uh, uh, things uh, did not work out for us, so, but eventually we were able to kind of roll out a good business strategy, where uh, uh, online became a very uh, is uh, where online online portal we are making good number of revenue hundred we having hundred thousand page views daily online on uh, our hundrednest.com and hundredflows.com put together as of now, and the other business vertical that we have is a leads one where uh, we are selling uh, uh, leads similar to just dial but uh, more in better operationally efficient manner where you know we give better quality to our customers better servicing uh, specifically focused on the financial sector and we have around two to three hundred smes and around five to ten corporates in the financial sector as of now so these are the two strong business verticals that we have currently so tell us, Srians, like how did you bump on this idea and why did you think of starting this entrepreneurial journey? Uh, basically, I think from where I started, uh, I, I, to be very frank, when I came back to India, I, I had no clue about what I have to do. Uh, basically, I just jumped in because I wanted to do something of my own. That was the only thing. Uh, probably first few months, like I was like definitely very struggling, very, very unfocused of not very sure what to do basically um, and I tried a couple of things five six things but nothing worked uh, very well uh, yeah so we're back in uh, april 2008 when we got the angel funding uh, uh, then uh, again uh, i don't think uh, i had a clear focus still uh, back only uh, uh, you know few months after starting the company also the focus uh, was definitely not very streamlined basically and uh, but the only thought was to do something uh, on your own and probably make good money as well in the market and uh, have a distinguished position in future, which I think to some extent we do, but in future we also have to do a, a lot of uh, work and job to get to that level. But, uh, but, but overall, the idea that we started with has completely evolved and changed and that has changed because of the business uh, uh, needs uh, as we uh, grew. We found that something is not going to work and we were ready to accept change and failures and uh, move ahead basically. So uh, basically, the I, I do not want to stress a lot on the business idea because business idea is, uh, you know, will definitely change over a period of time, but we have to understand uh, the uh, what, what works and take the shape. Like for example, for us, uh, when we started internet uh, online uh, selling with our sales team, we were only selling like banner ads, which never worked for us. So that, that's why we realized that we wanted to do something which is less brand dependent and easier to sell. And that's why we entered in the leads market and that has grown up very, uh, you know, more than 200, 300% uh, growing month over month. So, uh, you know, the, the, the need, we, we cannot predict a lot of things in, in the beginning, but uh, that's how actually things uh, shaped up basically. So what kind of challenges did you face when uh, coming up to this level? I really see you have a great team. How many team? Uh, how many? 30 team? people. We have 30 people and four uh, satellite offices, other cities, Bangalore, Mumbai, Delhi, Chennai. Uh, the, the definitely as most startups uh, do face in terms of hiring uh, and because we are a little, to some extent cash rich uh, when we go of funding, we typically had lesser problems on hiring side. But uh, definitely, uh, you know, the challenges uh, that we faced uh, uh, till now have been, you know, just getting to the right strategy basically and becoming very revenue focused. I think uh, that is very important for a company uh, where you become extremely revenue focused and uh, have day over day sprint on what kind of numbers are coming, how do you, um, you know, get more customers and till today I think that is the only challenge we have, right? Get more customers, grow your business three times, four times, uh, you know, generate higher revenues. That is the major challenge. I think uh, rest everything follows uh, automatically. Uh, but, uh, you know, overall, uh, uh, definitely at one point of time we thought like, okay, maybe we should, uh, you know, it was not going to work out and, you know, probably people should walk out and should close the shop. but. I think uh, 
you know still the determination was there and what uh, kept you going kept, which, kept, which kept us going that you know yeah when things did not work and if we you know were ready to accept change and sometimes changes could be very expensive for example like let's say six months you have developed something basically right and then suddenly you realize that oh you know this is not something that is going to work it is definitely very expensive and you become emotionally attached to certain things and ready to go to that dump it accept failure on it and do something new completely uh, uh, will definitely make a lot of difference and that is when i particularly i, I started something as a, as a novice entrepreneur basically who, who basically doesn't did not value market research analytics or anything like that of that sort who you know something which i you know understood uh, you know uh, after going through it and uh, so next venture i'm going to do if i do basically obviously i i think i will be like at least 9 months faster basically than uh, actually i was uh, where i had to have wasted a uh, 9 months of uh, effort i could have you know when i go back i think what i am today i could have been uh, you know probably 10 months earlier yeah correct so how do you want to take it to next level science like uh, i think uh, what we are looking at is from all aspects uh, we are definitely planning to do grow 3 to 4 times at least on uh, lead to vertical business and two times at least uh, on the online side of business so and overall uh, i think uh, we we have different plans where we are coming up with uh, from a lead to management system perspective and uh, grow the ma- and uh, scale in the market much further so uh, that's it basically yeah, yeah good So, what kind of message you would like to give to the budding entrepreneurs uh, who are trying to set up a new company or just? I think uh, what is important is uh, particularly the mistakes that I made. Uh, you know, rather would advise people not to do that. Uh, from the first aspect is that, you know, the most people have that thing that I know all, and uh, you know, basically this is a fancy idea and it will work a lot in the market and start without planning research. This is is definitely a big mistake, and always have an enthusiasm of a young person and uh, the what do you call the mentorship or leadership of a little more experienced person. The balance of that in a team uh, definitely will make life much easier, um, you know. And that is, but the sad part is that most entrepreneurs, probably when young entrepreneurs without any experience, start uh, typically will do. in a very hey wire manner and we'll go about doing it so but in any case uh, nothing wrong in that uh, if you don't hit a good mentor etc but over a period you will yourself learn and but only thing is that uh, by the time you learn you would have spent like a uh, thousands of dollars and lost a uh, lot of things so better but this is something that even back in family also you would say but the child never learns until he makes his mistake himself so basically uh, nothing wrong in that uh, so if if that's how it is then you know fall and then get up then it's fine but definitely there's something that one can always look at by balancing the team in terms of experience as well as enthusiasm would be the best thing to do but yeah no nevertheless people will do definitely what they want to do and they definitely will make mistakes and that's how things will happen in life so yeah that's how Have you already done any patents on your products? Or we haven't basically. We haven't done we uh, because uh, we would look at it uh, in uh, some near future. But as of now, probably few months down the line, we'll do that. Like for example, logo, etc. To some extent, we have done that, but okay. not uh, like you know because there's no limitation to patenting. We can go to operational patenting. We can go to logo patenting, processes patenting. So uh, as of now, we've not done. But yes, we will definitely. Uh, at certain level of business, it requires and it should be done. Yes, friends, it's really a great thing, and the whole t- uh, that we at Il Lagan would like to congratulate your whole team. So, on the final note, would you like to say something to all our uh, people here? Uh, just want to say that from an entrepreneurship perspective, it's a great experience, and I think I I feel myself very proud of it, and uh, definitely, uh, you know, it's it's definitely not a very great feeling. it is a really when you want to start and after somewhere in the middle way it will drop down but once you kind of cross it then you know you see the numbers growing and things happening and you will definitely you will feel top of the world so nothing can beat that uh, even not even a good job and the amount of experience uh, in all aspects will definitely be much more enriching and uh, uh, somewhere i've heard that uh, you generally regret about things that you have not done then what you have done so rather do thanks friends thanks, thanks all okay.